if you'll recall those cold snaps we had last winter, plus a few late spring freezes, pretty much took out the fruit crop in our orchard. We didn't have any peaches or cherries, not many apples, and hardly any pears. But we have potential for a good crop of apples this next year. Right here is an Arkansas black apple, which is a good variety for this area. And I just want to show you how you can tell the potential for a crop. If you look on the stems here, this is a spur type apple, which means it bears its fruit out on these short little spurs, and you can just see them all along the stem here. Now, see this bud, how it's nice and fat. That is, an, is a bud that has a potential for being an apple because it's got a flower bud in there. Now, if we move up here, you'll see this bud. It's very small and pointy, and it's not fat. That is only going to contain leaves, so that's not a potential for an apple. But if you move on up here, we've got another potential apple. And these are pretty much spaced pretty evenly all the way up the stem here. So we have a good potential for an apple crop. Now remember, they've still got to make it through the winter and through those spring freezes, but right now it's looking pretty good for a crop. Also, you'll want to notice here I've got a branch coming out and there aren't any buds on there that are fat. That's because this is a one-year-old branch of wood. Now apples fruit on wood that is two years old or older. So when you're doing your pruning, you'll want to remember that. If you really prune it back hard, it's going to take two or three years to start getting good crops of apples out of that. Well, as I mentioned pruning, we're not going to do any pruning right now because the best time to prune your fruit trees is in February and early March, after they've gone through that deep freeze of the winter. So you can prune out any winter damage that's there. So right now we're just going to let these go into the winter and we'll come back and prune in the spring, but we've got the potential for a great crop. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.